Hello, I'm taking this video on Easter Sunday during COVID-19 and it's since I'm dressed up for no particular reason, I just thought it'd be fun to do a little video and show my hats. I saw a great video by Michelle at My Vintage Love and she shared some of her favorite hats and I thought it would be fun to do this, the same thing. So please check out My Vintage Love because she's fabulous. Um, I'm wearing one of my favorite hats that uh, it was just a great find that I found here in St. Catharines and uh, it's very it's a very high hat I love that it's got the flowers and it's got the netting I'm not super comfortable putting the netting over my face I think it would have to be steamed but it's a very dramatic hat I wore this at Frankie 100 in the fashion show as well so that was my Easter bonnet today and I thought I'd show a few other favorites I have one that is a real 1930s hat that I haven't actually had a chance to wear yet. I just picked it up before everything got shut down. This is a flat 1930s hat. Now my wig that I'm wearing from Annabelle's wigs is a 50s style, so ignore that. But this is a really dramatic hat that has this great um, net where you can have it hook behind your head so that it won't fall off. And this needs to be steamed a little bit so that it's a little bit perkier, these ribbons on the top, but really excited to wear this hat sometime soon. And I got that at Courage My Love in Toronto, and it, it was a little bit of a splurge compared to most hats that I buy. I've been really lucky to find a lot of things at antique stores around Niagara for very little money. So this one was probably a little bit more up in the $60 range, which, um, you know, if you go to New York, you're gonna be paying a lot more than that. But in Toronto, that's a very good price. And most of the hats I got here, I got for under 30 or maybe $35. Um, I wore this one for Fancy Friday a couple weeks ago and got a lot of good feedback. It's a really great colored hat. It's great to get colorful hats because the black ones, you can accumulate a lot of black ones uh, over time and they start to be hard to pick from. But it's a good statement piece. Speaking of black ones, this is one of my favorite black hats and it's just a plain black one, but this, this reminds me of a little Ruby Keeler style hat that you might wear on the side. And I just think that that's a really great look. It might be blending in with the hair a little bit, but um, a little side angle hat. Does that look right, Jeff? Yeah. Do I have, have it on? Love that one. Here's another one I wore for Fancy Friday on my Instagram recently. This is what I think of as the Dior new look kind of hat. And I love this wide flat style of hat. I had a black hat that I let get away from an antique store at one point. You're still talking about that. That was the one hat I really regret. It was very similar to this in the shape and uh, I, I really wish I hadn't let it go. But this I have in blue and I just love it. I have a similar shape here actually in a cream. This one needs a little love, but same idea here. I might wear this for Dapper Day. This one's got a little bit more of a, an architectural thing going on here and isn't quite as nice as the blue one, but still like it, like this little bit of shade and that flat look and it's got that kind of Dior feeling even though this one isn't quite as nice. Um, then there are some other small hats. This is one of my favorites, maybe my very favorite hat. I wear this one, wore it to the um, ILHC fashion show and let me see if that's right. I really love the look and texture of this hat and I think it's a very sophisticated hat um, and it goes great with all sorts of shades of green. So it's really easy to wear with a lot of different shades and colors. So love that one. I can kind of see the reflection. You can angle it in different ways. It's a really good one. Here is another favorite in blue. I've worn this for Easter in previous years. The netting isn't in the best shape, but this is one that I've picked up also at an antique store in Niagara. And you know, you really don't have to spend as much money as you think on these things if you get lucky and you go to the right places. Um, these were very inexpensive and, and, and are actually in really great condition. So love, a little bit of color. Um, just quickly going through a few more. Here's a black one. Just when you are looking for black hats, it's great to find something that's a little bit detailed or different. This one has this little arrow and I just think that makes it so much more interesting than a plain black hat having that little detail in the angle there. So that's something really interesting to look out for is um, something that just makes the hat a little bit more distinct. And this is a black one that uh, has some height to it, which makes it interesting. This one sits a little bit like the first one I wore with a little bit of height. And this one is really great with a suit or something with shoulder pads so it balances out um, with the structure of your entire outfit. I really, really like this one. Um, it's got a very, I don't know, I feel like 
I have a gardener or something in this way. <laughs> um, just a couple more to fly through. Uh, I think this is the ultimate kind of summer hat. And I think straw is really just fabulous. You can wear a straw with anything. So really like the wide nature of this. I haven't quite figured out how to pin this one for me, um, but uh, really great flat looking hat. Really excited about this one. And one of my favorite hats that I wore for Dapper Day um, and at the Queen's Plate and some other things. This, is a, this doesn't fit very well with my wig, but this is a great big, yeah, it's falling off with my wig. I get the idea. <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> you can look at my Instagram for photos of this one. It's uh, Mandy's Lindy Hop Closet. And this is a great one. Jeff helped me put these wonderful flowers on. And this is actually a really true kind of Easter bonnet here. So love that. So I think I've shown most of my favorites. Oh, one little, a um, couple of other little ones just because they have some color. This is a bit of a Robin Hood feeling uh, color, but has uh, some interesting netting here that kind of sits more at the back of the head. So that actually works kind of nicely with this wig and it clings on there. So I like that just for a little small, subtle bit of color. And this one I have not had a chance to wear yet. Jeff, I think you got this for me at that car show. Yeah. I think actually back here a yeah, little bit further. Curly is curly. Yeah. Yeah, and it's a great color. I love this color. So that's a great find if you can get a little bit of color and then figure out if you can actually coordinate with it or not. So anyways, just some of my favorite hats. They don't have to cost a lot of money. A lot of the times if you're not sure about the hat, if it's working properly, uh, you want to check the angle you're wearing it at. And to be honest, I see a lot of people who wear their hats backwards. So always check inside if there's a tag. The tag should be at the back. They don't always have a tag, but if there is a tag, it's at the back. So I see people all the time wearing something with a bow at the front where the bow is supposed to be at the back. So we want to keep an eye out for that. So anyways, that was inspired by Michelle at My Vintage Love. And I'm Mandy from Roaring Twenties Events. And, uh, and Lindy Hop and other things. So thank you, and I hope you have a great day and you're inspired to look for hats.